Hi there, this is Vanessa DeBerle, and today we're gonna to talk about four proven ways to share your affiliate links. You're, you've started your affiliate marketing business and you're just not getting the sales that you would like to see. And maybe the problem is you're just not sharing your links enough or in various different places. So I'm gonna share some different places that you can share your links. Remember, we don't go to Facebook and make a post in a, a Facebook group and say, hey everybody, look what I have and put your link there. That is called spamming and that is illegal. You do not wanna do that. So let's figure out what we can do, and do it the right way. So let's get started. You can share your links on social media, but I'm gonna show you how. Um, we're not gonna go into a lot of detail of how as much as this video is more of a, a general, a, a, giving you a general idea of all the ways that you can share. I'm not gonna go into detail on every single one. It would end up being like an hour. So just so you get some ideas and then you can dig in deeper if you find something that you wanna do. But number one for me is YouTube. I go in, I make a YouTube video and um, this one was about a social media management, about Loomly, and then in my description, I share the link. I want people to sign up for this 15-day free trial right here where they can go in, I, you select it, and they go to the, that page, and if they go in and sign up for the 15-day free trial, once they purchase, then I get a commission. If not, then they've at least gotten to try something to see if they like it. So they even have my name there, my picture, when they sign up for their free trial, um, so it looks like I put that all together. It's very professional. So make sure you use YouTube and the description. Now, maybe you're saying, I don't want to make a YouTube channel. Then put your um, posts, the same thing, content. You could compare Hootsuite to Loomly in a blog post. And in that blog post, you would share the link to Loomly and say, hey, this is the one that I found out I like to use here's the link now you can become an affiliate for two different products um hootsuite and loomly they both have an affiliate program i'm only an affiliate with loomly not with hootsuite but if you do that you can say you know here's the link for both of them and get a 50 50 chance either way you can also share on instagram neil patel i love um he's got a lot of neat ideas he has youtube he's on linkedin he's on Instagram, Twitter, he's all over the place. He's actually, his primary thing is websites. So if you're into websites, you definitely want to follow him. But what he does on Instagram, and I haven't started doing this yet because I'm still concentrating on YouTube, but he puts in something like this, how to write a killer headline. And you select it, and when it opens up, he just puts a tip there. Okay, and he always has um, different tips that, that you can uh, get. Now this one, I think we got caught up in a conversation. Okay, stuck on writing a killer headline, here are a few tips. I've all seen, also seen him go in and give a couple of tips, and then people will say, gosh, every time he posts, he has value. I wonder who he is, and then people will look him up. He's on YouTube, he's on LinkedIn, um, he's all over the place, and in the profile, of your Instagram account, you can have a link to your YouTube channel or have a link to your website and people will look for you. That's why we have, that's why we give um, value in our content is so people will start looking for us. We're not chasing anybody. We're not selling anything. They will start coming to us because they see you as somebody who's full of information and every time you put out content it is valuable. And that's why people will start to follow you. Now, other social media, you've got your Twitter, your LinkedIn, Pinterest, but it all pretty much works the same way. You give some type of value that you can within the means of that program and then lead them to your website link. Don't lead them to an affiliate link, lead them to your website. Then on the website, that's where you have your blog and that's where your information and your links are. Does that make sense? So you're not, you're not pushing the links, you're just pushing out content and leading them to get more value from that website or from that YouTube channel. All right, let's look at another avenue that you can use to, to post your. Now I call these add-ons, number two. For instance, on your website page, you might have a page that says resources. These are all the tools that I use in my business. Or maybe your website is about camping. These are all the tools and the equipment that we love to use. Maybe yours is about how to paint. You started a YouTube channel and you teach painting techniques. Here are all the tools in one place. So we call them add-ons. You can just direct somebody here and they can find everything right away. Let's make that so. There you go, so you can see it better. But these are some of the tools that I use that I have affiliate links for, and um, I can still build more. Um, some people will put it in their lead magnet. They'll say, here's a free ebook about how to 
start an affiliate marketing business. And then in that toolkit, they might say, here's a list of all the tools that you need for your business. And then here's a checklist. So all that's in a toolkit. And then you have all your links in there. In an ebook, if you were writing an ebook about all the different painting techniques that you've been sharing, within the ebook, you could have all the links going to the products that you're using or some of the programs you may you may have a course that you're trying to sell and you can have a link going to that course then within your course maybe there's a course that you made in the course you can start putting in little plugs for hey you know i use sales funnels and i go to click funnels here's the link stuff like that so you want to think outside the box basically the 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 foundation of what you're doing as an affiliate marketer is providing content. It's within the content that you're making the sales or people are clicking links because you're giving them so much information. Another place that you can go, another kind of an add on place is within your email marketing list. If you have an email marketing list, you keep giving them value. And as you talk about the different products and the different things that you're using, Hey, here's the link if you want it and you move on. It works. It works. I promise you. Now, once you have those two ways mastered, the next two, I, I call them like a level two um, strategy, but think about timing of when you put certain videos out or certain content out. For instance, Black Friday sales. Everybody had Black Friday sales. Actually, there were so many of them, I was like, I don't even wanna look at them. So even with that, you could think outside the box and maybe push something the week before um, and call it, you know, and say that in your heading, I hate Black Friday sales, but then talk about how, why you hate it and then offer something. I mean, just think outside the box. But during Black Friday sales, that's when you might want to help people find deals within your niche, or maybe you have products yourself. I found that a lot of the products I was promoting had their own sales and I could just make videos about them and promote them. So look at that. Now, what are other things you can do with timing? What about Christmas time? Everybody is shopping. So have your content about best, um, here's one, best, best gift ideas for him, best in, uh, gift ideas for her, um, best good great uh, gift ideas for your affiliate marketing partner i mean just think outside the box and do a review and have the links going to all those things now it's christmas so maybe you can even still even think of things that somebody in business would want maybe somebody on youtube would want a camera um, they would want lighting different things like that but provide those links so that people can hit them. Now, make sure you have products that go to Amazon during these hot times, the, the Christmas and Black Friday. And the reason I say that, Amazon doesn't give a huge commission. They give like four to 7%. I've seen 9%, but not much higher. So, you know, round that out. It's not a lot of money. Your products are gonna run, you know, $20 to a couple hundred dollars, unless you're selling cameras or something. But take advantage of it because one of the neat things that Amazon has, if somebody clicks in, let's say I'm sharing a camera that I just got. I just got this expensive camera and I wanna show you how it works, blah, blah, blah. I do a whole review. I don't have one. But anyway, right now, um, but anyway, I share that and then I send them to Amazon to buy it. Maybe they get there and they go, you know, I just, I can't buy this right now, but hey, I'm Christmas shopping for the kids. Before you know it, they're over there shopping for other things. Well, Amazon allows you to get all the commission on anything that person buys within 24 hours. So definitely hit the holidays, get people to click and get over there to Amazon. Now stay within your niche. Don't stray. Um, if you're selling um, things for camping, and I've used that example before, don't start pushing things for something else because your audience expects you to talk about camping. But you might give some ideas for gift ideas, start out with camping for your loved ones that love to camp, and then maybe you could put some uh, book or something that they might want to read while they're at camping or a flashlight. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. Your goal, remember, is just get them to click it, get over to Amazon, and then you get everything that they purchase for the next 24 hours. So that's pretty cool. The last one is trends. You want to watch for trends. Now, what does that mean? Well, I was looking for trends. I was thinking, okay, I'm an affiliate. I was thinking for myself, I'm an affiliate marketer. And I wanted to know when people, uh, the best time that, 
what time of the year do most people book trips to Europe? I was looking for that because I thought, you know, I could do it. I haven't done this, but I could do a video about if, when you're an affiliate marketer and you get to quit your job that nine to five, you can pretty much work from anywhere in the whole world as long as they have internet. And I thought, well, that would be a cool video about um, getting people um, do a video about a trip to Europe and plug it in with how you can go as an affiliate marketer. When's the best time? Most people book from late May to early June. So early May, or maybe even three months before that, because a lot of people book earlier to go in May, but start talking about it. It's a trend. Um, maybe there's a trend that people are buying a certain, um, camera for uh, there was I was watching videos there's like this Nikon camera that everybody's buying now for YouTube videos so there's a trend there so watch for those trends and jump on the bandwagon and then start to make your content related around that it does take time I would schedule some time in my day or in my week that I just do some research you could be sitting there and watching TV and surfing the internet and looking for things with a notebook and just start you know scanning you could have your phone with you when the, you drop the kids off to the soccer game or something you can sit there and scan and look for things but here's another one what is the number one vacation spot well here they are and again in affiliate marketing I can be encouraging people you know take your business with you and go to Paris France or something like that um, but look for trends uh, and and things that people are looking for because that's the bottom line you can sit there and make all the content in the world but if nobody's looking for it they're not going to click it on because they don't care all right so hopefully that was helpful to you hopefully you found at least one way that you weren't using and that's going to help you up your business a little bit that's what it's all about each day we just want to get better right just be better today than we were yesterday and that's how life works so if you found a tip in here that is useful something that you didn't know go ahead and share it down below and then give me a thumbs up and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching by the way